Hello everyone. Today I want to show you how to use the RoboCopy, you know, to migrate the data from one drive to the other one. You know, we have the when we create a volume on the file server, we need to select the MBR mode or GPT mode. The main difference for MBR or GPT is the MBR mode can only, you know, set the size of the disk to no more than two terabyte, but if we use the GPT mode, we can extend the disk to more than two terabytes. So if some user, you know, set up the disk before with the MBR mode, and uh, for the time being, when people save the data to the disk, it may be, you know, extend the size, the data size may be more than two terabytes. Then in this case, we need to create a new disk for the in the file server and with the you know gpt mode and then we can just uh, we need to migrate all the data and the permissions because each folder subfolder has has its own permissions to the new disk so we can find out if the disk is a gpt mode or mbr mode we can just run the uh, open the command prompt from the you know uh, as administrator and run disk part and then click NISC, NIST disk. When we say when we create a you know input a NIST disk, we see this you know there are two disks. The disk one you see that is GPT mode. There's a star here. That means this mode is a uh, is created at GPT mode. It can be extended to two terabyte more than two terabyte. So let's say we want to migrate the one, we want to simulate how to migrate the data from the source folder to the, you know, to the destination. So if I just delete all this one, this is empty folder now. So we just in the source, we go to the source folder. We have three folders, you know, subfolders like HR, finance or the engineering. If I go to HR, Go to properties. We see HR has the AG underscore HR underscore members has modified permission to the folder, and others don't have permission. So, can you go OK? And also finance. If I can click permissions, only finance members have permission. So, this engineering go there. Only engineering has permissions. So if I go to HR, HR has one folder, one file, you know, file dash, uh, test dash file move. And if I go to the finance, finance is only one file and go to the engineer folder, that's empty folder. So we just want to run the command to, you know, copy all the data from the source to the destination. So we just run this one. So what we do is we run this uh, robot copy from source to the destination. And this means, you know, even include the subfolders, you know, uh, empty folders. I mean, you say engineer has is empty folder, but we want to also copy over to the destination. And copy all means, you know, we need to copy the permissions. This means all. And also we want to create a log file and you know for this robot copy and also this last one slash te means you know we want to pull the log to the log file and also in the you know in the on the screen so the both so let me just this one so before we write it we may want to see what happens we don't really copy over we just uh, you know for us next year just list what will happen if we run this command we just click okay so it says you know when we run this command it will create this new folder and create a new file okay let me just run it now so just run so if you see if i i just put it 
slash air, but uh, this means it does not do the uh, copy, just uh, you know, simulate what happens if I run. Now I want to really copy the data, I just uh, remove this slash air and run again. Let's see. So you see this is uh, run now. So if I go to the E drive, source. So it has a file here and finance, finance. And if I go to the destination, we see just three files, three folders created now. So if I go there, just a file, finance. And also if I go to permissions, so finance has a permission. So Let's say if we on the source because people access the data, you know, during the business hours, they may change the file itself or create new files. Let's see what happens. For example, if I open this one, I just uh, add more data. And save. And then I want to create a new file. So I modified this file and create a new file. So let's see if I run this command again, because we may need to run there a few times before we cut over. And then we run this command again. So it says, you know, this new file create modify created and also this new one is copied over. If we go to the destination HR, so this new file is created now and this one I just add some content it should be modified. You see this one modified. So next one I want to see, you know, so we see the destination, the engineering is empty. So folder is empty. So if I go to the source, for example, people go to HR, people want to move a file from the other to the other folder. Like see, they just uh, copy and then they go to the engineer and then they paste. So you see this we copy the data, copy the file from the source from one folder and paste in the other folder. We do this way because if we do the copy and paste, it will inhabit the permission from the folder itself, not keep the order, its own permission. So if we see this one, this engineer members has permission. So for example, if I go to HR, I want to delete this one first because I moved to the other one. I just delete this one for now. And then if I create a new file, So you see this new HR file, if I want to connect uh, to the permissions, because when we create a new file, it just inherit the permission from the folder. So I just connect, you see HR members has permissions. If we want to, if we move the file, like say cut out a copy, paste, we just click cut, and then we go to the engineering, and click paste. So what's the difference? So if we cut and paste, then we go to this one, we see the properties, security, engineering has permissions. So it's a, a cut and paste that got the permissions from the, you know, this uh, folder. So let me knock it So this one's gone. Okay, let me, you see this one, only one file in this folder and the, um, in the source. The sub for the HR has uh, only one file, and uh, if we go to the before we copy, we see the destina destination. The HR has two files because this one has a, uh, you know, before the before we migrate, uh, the file over it is already copied to the you know uh, destination. So if we go to the Engineering, just empty. So let's run the command again. So 
So we run this one again. We see this. Okay, the engineering is, has two files now because the source we moved two files to this. You know, engineering folder. If we go to the source, we see HR has only one file. But if we go back to destination, the engineering has two files. See, and also this HR, HR has two files. So why this happened? This is because we did a lot, uh, you know, use the other option to make sure the destina destination is the same files for the structure as the source folder. Because it's just add the new files, you know, which is from source to the destination. We showed that if we needed to, you know, if we want to migrate the data from the source to the destination, all the folder structures or files should be the same as the source folder. However, there's some difference because we just uh, just open this one. We compare this. If I go to the destination, you know, if we go to the source. We see HR. It's HR only one file, you see, only new file. But in the destination, there's two, there are two files. This happened because we have, you know, moved one file to the other, you know, folder before we run the command. But this command only runs it, only, you know, uh, add the external uh, additional files to the, you know, destination. It did not, uh, you know, compare the destination with the source to see if any difference they need to be removed. So let's see how can we do this, you know, because uh, our user complain there's uh, there are some issues, you know, because they, they are, if we go to destination, we see the HR has two files. There should be one file, but if we go to engineer, they have two files. So this means duplicate files, you know, of the migration. So we want to make sure the file structure and the files are the same as the source folder. So we need to add another option. So the other option we need to do is to to add MIR. MIR means mirror. Mirror means you know all the Destination folders and the files should be the same as the source folder. If some difference, the files will be removed from the destination. See, let's see what happens. So, if I just to show you before we migration, run this command, we see the destination, we see the HR has two files. After we run this one, this file should be removed. So, let's run again. Let's see. So you see this one, the HR folder, you know, it's the file is uh, moved, removed from the destination now. So that's what we want. We want the destination uh, folder structure to be the same as the source. So when we add the media option, you know, MIR option to the command, you know, just uh, compare the source and destination. If there's any difference, you know, between the source and the destination, they will remove the, you know, difference from the destination. And uh, after this one, you know, after we, then we, if we do the cutover, there will be the same folders and the files as the source folder. Uh, that's all I show you today. Thank you.